Surrounded by stunning mountains, Ma Yinzhou and the students say they've been captivated by the breathtaking scenery at the foot of Guifeng Mountain. But despite this resort-like appearance, this is not some tourist area. This is the Xi'an branch of the National Archives of Publications and Culture, often considered as a seed bank for Chinese culture. The institute holds over two million copies of historical texts, serving as the major record of ancient Chinese literature. Now inside the archives, they are stepping into the heart of the Chinese civilization. The Xi'an branch places special emphasis on northwestern Chinese culture. An exhibition of the Silk Road attracts the attention of the group. I've just explored the Silk Road from the Tang Dynasty all the way to modern times. It's thought-provoking, providing insights into the economic development and the significance of the Silk Road. When the guide introduces a popular dance from the Tang Dynasty, Mr. Ma takes out a pen to note down the spelling of the dance. <laughs> Stepping into the so-called hidden library, Director Liu introduces Ma to six ancient books from the Song, Ming, and Qing dynasty. Among them is the Yongle Canon, the world's largest and earliest encyclopedia. Listening to the Ming dynasty transcript record of the mission to Ryakyu, Mein Zhou nods his head. This is a must-read for those of us researching Diaoyu Island. The ancient texts prove that Diaoyu Island does not belong to Ryukyu. It's stated very clearly beyond Gumi Mountain. I've also seen this passage at Oxford University in the UK. Ma says the experience has given him fresh insights into the long continuity and rich legacy of Chinese civilization. The Chinese nation has a profound awareness and tradition of cultural inheritance and textual preservation since ancient times. Despite the vicissitudes, Chinese civilization has managed to preserve many valuable literary treasures. People in Taiwan also place great importance on Chinese culture, and the reverence for the cultural heritage of classical texts is deeply ingrained in the vast majority of people in Taiwan. Of this experience, Ma says he hopes these ancient texts can be more widely promoted. <laughs> the work to preserve the nation's rich history continues, with shared efforts on both sides of the strait. Huang Chang, CGTN, Xi'an, Shanxi Province.